After a brief leave from the throne, Firefox has upped its game and made its triumphant return as our editor's choice for best desktop browser. Even if you're a true Firefox devotee, you may not be aware of all the helpful things that you can do with this powerful piece of software. Here are a few cool ones. See your browser's health report. Okay, don't freak out, but Firefox is watching you. Whether you're aware of the fact or not, your browser is keeping a detailed journal of its activities. Firefox collects this data so as to, quote, aggregate the data shared by everyone to make Firefox work better for you, unquote. If you want to check out the diary that you didn't even know your browser was keeping, click the Alt button to review the menus at the top of your browser window. Then click the Help menu, and then choose Firefox Health Report. Here you'll find various types of information such as how long your browser takes to start up, how long your browser has been open, and how many crashes it has encountered. Big Brother Mozilla is just looking out for your browser's well-being. Change your text size. You may already know that you can zoom in and out on your browser screen by pressing on the control key and then hitting the plus or minus keys. And if you didn't, well, you do now. But did you know that you can also make just the text get bigger and smaller? This can come in handy if your vision or that of your loved ones is not what it used to be. To access this function, click on over the view menu and select zoom text only and then just control key in and out as you would normally. But this time you'll notice that only the text changes. If you are playing with this function a little too much and you get stuck with your text too large or too small, and trust me, this is very easy to do, you can just click Ctrl plus zero and return to your default size. If you updated your Firefox over the past several months, you may have noticed a little smiley face icon in the top right corner. This is Firefox Hello, Firefox's new video chat service. You probably already use video chat services like Google Hangouts, Apple FaceTime, or Skype. But unlike those services, Hello is not software or hardware dependent. That means you can just use Hello to chat with anyone regardless of what device they are on. They don't even need to be using Firefox. Want to check it out? Just click the icon in the top right corner. Then you can have a conversation with anyone on any system, regardless of what second-rate browser they happen to be on. Like most good browsers, Firefox will autofill the browser window as you type based on your internet history. However, if you don't want anyone looking over your shoulder to see what you've been searching for, or if you happen to be making an instructional tech video, you have the ability to delete certain entries. To do this, just use your arrows to navigate down on the particular offending entry and then hit the delete key. That way it will never come up again in your autofill results. Of course, the best way to keep your internet history from catching up with you is to use the private window, which you can access by going to the file menu and then selecting new private window. Unlock the Easter eggs. What self-respecting developer would dare create a piece of software without hidden Easter eggs? Well, Firefox devs are certainly not above it. For example, if you type in about colon Mozilla, remember no space there, you will get a little piece of text from the book of Mozilla. Ha ha. If you type in about colon robots, you will receive a little message from robots to humankind. How lovely. If you look at the tab title, you'll see the phrase Gort, Klaatu, Barada, Niktu, which of course is a reference to the film The Day the Earth Stood Still. But the coolest egg takes a bit of work to unlock, but is completely worth it. If you want to check it out, click the three lines in the top right hand corner of your window. Next, click the customize button at the bottom of the pop out window. Then you will want to remove all the icons from your window by dragging them to the main window on the left. Remember to get rid of the cut and copy icons at the top as well and then hit exit customize at the bottom. Then click the three lines in the top corner again and you will see the window populated by a bouncing interactive unicorn. What fun. Those are just a few of the cool tricks hidden in Firefox. Check out PCMag.com for even more tips. I'm Evan Dashevsky, and remember to have fun on the internet. Okay.